Hello people and we are back for the final few episodes Diablo 3 Shijin 18 it is ending today at 8 o'clock my time Easter Standard Time Knoxville Tennessee tonight and it is 8 31 a.m. I don't plan on playing for 12 hours. I don't really know if I will. I really wanted to already be done at this point. I wanted to max out my build, but uh, things hadn't been working out the way I had hoped they would. I'd been failing a few rifts, which I guess is part of it. And I've been doing a lot of tests, testing out different, uh, different items. I had tested, been testing out. Okay, hold on, let me uh, put my main build back on. So I tested out this one here, Zunimasa String of Skulls versus my Okapian Serpent. Last season, this worked out better for me than the Okapian Serpent. This season, for whatever reason, the Okapian Serpent just seems to be working out better. I can't really understand why. I, I don't even have... I'd have to start up my character from last season to see why. I don't, I don't even know if I even still have it. Um, one thing that I have noticed, I mean, I tested out three greater rifts between these two, and I've done that with each, uh, test that I've done, but in all fairness, you really can't necessarily tell that way, um, I mean, because the maps, it's so dependent upon the maps that... You know, I could have just got three kind of bad maps in a row. Bad rifts with bad rift guardians, very few shrines. Maybe this actually does work out better than the Ucopian Serpent. You know, I just, for whatever reason, just, you know, just seemed like it did worse. I, I don't know. I think overall the Ucopian Serpent is better when you take every factor everything in. But that extra damage from the Zunimasa... Uh, I don't know. All I'm say I guess all I'm saying is that the Zunimasa might have done better. Maybe it actually is better in some ways, but my tests, my tests just went for the Ucopian Serpent. Um, let's see, what else? And then I tested out, tested out Echoing Fury with my dagger of darts <laughs> once again uh, you know it, the sacred harvester just seemed to be better um, with the echoing fury my toughness goes down so much as well as my um, movement speed and some of my damage that the bonus that you get to attack speed from the echoing fury just didn't seem to make up for that enough once again, I have to say, though, that it could just be the maps that I was playing. It could just be the Rift Guardian that I got, you know. Maybe in an ideal uh, Rift with, you know, uh, ideal Rift Guardians and ideal Shrines. Maybe the Echoing Fairy does outperform the Sacred Harvester, but the ones that I tested, it just seemed like the Sacred Harvester just, just, did, just does better. Um... Uh, tested out Tasker and Theo. Uh, same thing. Now, I think... I think this wasn't really a completely fair test because the base abilities of my St. Archus 
I think just are so much better than the base abilities of Tasker and Theo that it's tough to really make a good comparison. I think that St. Archu's critical hit chance increased by 10% is worth more than the attack speed and the critical hit damage of the Tasker and Theo combined. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, the extra, you don't get anything extra that except other than that increased attack speed, which is basically there to help you with your zombie dogs heal you more to add to your recovery. But it just didn't seem to help enough in, in the, the decreased damage just, uh, Well, it, it just the ones that I tested, just Saint Archus just seemed to be seemed to be better. Uh tested out Flavor of Time. I had to give up my Oculus ring. I put the SS of S of uh, the Flavor of Time in the cube. Uh, I did not want to give up my S of Johan. Um Uh, flavor of time, at least this one, if I, if I gave up my S of Johan, yeah, it'd be, looks like about 3 or 4% decrease in damage, because that damage isn't, doesn't include poison skills deal 19% more damage, so when you factor that in, it'd only be about 4% difference, and I'd gain about 13% toughness. But I gotta tell you, that S of Johan, I get so many good collateral kills from pulling all the enemies into one spot. Uh, just the extra that you get from the flavor of time, the extra shriny, it, it would make me just too dependent upon the map. I, I might, I don't know. I say I might give it one more try, but I don't. I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna stick with the yes of Johan. It just didn't seem to help. Just didn't seem to help. Um, like I said, I gave up my Oculus ring. Giving up that. These old things are becoming so small. Giving up that Oculus ring really lowered my offensive capabilities a lot. Um, that that little yellow ring I jump into. I jump into it a lot. Um, you know, as long as I'm killing enemies. Uh, and it just, it just, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I, I did at least one or two maps or rifts with a lot of good shrines and the doubled time that I got from those shrines just didn't seem to compensate enough. Um, once again, maybe there were just no good elites around at that time or, or whatever, but either way, it just, just didn't work out as well as what I thought it would be. And then I made a Hellfire Amulet. Um, I put the S of Johan on my cube, gave up my Oculus Ring again, um, but this time the idea was to um, go with the passives that I used last season. Grave Injustice, Confidence Ritual. Um, same, same exact thing as the Flavor of Time though. It's, uh, it was nice but um, it, it, giving up that Oculus ring, you know, you, you, you really got to get something really good for it. And I just, I just didn't get, get enough from Grave Injustice Confident Rituals. I, I, not only did I have, not have my Oculus ring, but I couldn't really jump into the other circles either. Uh, at least only if they were close to the enemy, because those two passive skills you got to be close to the enemy and I tried it with big bad voodoo and with horrify because I found that my my defense went down quite a bit because I lost spirit vessel <clears throat> um, just didn't help just just wasn't good enough uh, so I came back I came back to my normal setup Witching Hour, I tried Witching Hour, same same scenario almost in that, um, yeah, I got more damage, but my defense went down enough to where I had to run around for my life more, and so 
Uh, you know, every moment that I'm spending running, running for my life, is a moment I'm not attacking. So that indirectly causes my, or d maybe directly causes my damage my, to go down because I'm not attacking. I'm attacking a lot less often. So I went back to the string of ears. This is a change that I did make. Uh, I was using this Lacumba's ornament for a long time, pretty much the whole time. Uh, I switched it out for the one I'm wearing now. Uh, basically, I gave up that life per hit for the critical hit chance. Uh, and I didn't think I could really do that. I didn't think I could afford that recovery. Look at that, 63% increased recovery if I went back to it. I guess one of the things I didn't really think about was that with this Simplicity Strength uh, Legendary Gem, hits with primary abilities heal me for 4% of my maximum health. That uh, is, I guess, enough recovery, so much recovery, that the 11,000 life per hit, I could lose that and, and that was okay. It didn't seem to matter that I lost that. So, uh, that extra 6% critical hit chance seemed to give me enough extra damage, plus the 199% poison resistance, that helps also, that made it worth it to switch. So I, I did end up switching that one. And I think that was... <coughs> I think that was it. Um, oh yeah, and one final thing that I did switch, which for some reason it's still here. Uh, I switched out uh, big, uh, I'm sorry, Paranado for Horrify. Uh, with the frightening aspect. Um, I was starting to really get afraid, getting afraid to use Pyronado because that when I use it, it cost me a good amount of mana. And during the time when my mana goes down, I lose my Aquilaquiris. And just for that few seconds that it goes down and I use it, um, I'm pretty vulnerable. I'm, I'm very vulnerable to dying. So I started to get afraid to even use it, and I wasn't using it that much. And plus, my S of Johan does almost the same exact thing, maybe actually a little bit better. So I switched out to Horrify, and I noticed that the bonus to toughness with Horrify is a lot better than what I thought it was. Um, it's about 25 to 30%. So see right there, I gained about 45 million toughness, which is about 30 30 percent so that's pretty good I, I i didn't really realize that it was that good I, maybe i should have been using it all along so i did switch out and i am now using horrify and that that actually made it to where i can attack more because i'm more defended so my plan for the next few riffs or so i'm gonna finish trying to level up my legendary gems as best as I can. I still got a few 112s and a 113. So I'm going to do a few 113. Maybe I'll do a 112 first. Still having trouble on the 112s. If it's if it's a bad map and a bad Rift Guardian, I end up failing it. Um, but I'm just going to try and get these leveled up, and then I'll probably do a couple of 113s until I get my 113s leveled up. <clears throat> I might try one or two more 114s, but I, I was I was not being able to do the 114s, at least the, the few of them that I tried. But, I mean, all in all, I, I, <clears throat> I know I've said this a few times, but I'm not going to spend too, too much more time leveling these up. We're only going to be talking about a difference between maybe 50 intelligence, maybe 60, 70, 80 intelligence, which in the grand scheme of things is not going to be that much, so... Alright, so what am I going to do now? I'm going to I'm going to do a 112 right now. I think I got I did some farming last night before bed. I got 10 keystones. Ah, wood. The Starbucks breakfast.
And I have to do the best I can today because today is the last day. Here we go. I'm going to hit it. Done. Elites. Embrace your power and you will survive. Elites only unless it's a huge. I grow weak. Gotta try and get some of my... Go, go, go! Go, go! <clears throat> I don't want to lose my stacks. I know, I know, at least on it.
one thing I'm trying to do too is focus a lot more on targeting well. Something I don't think I've done very well. map I should be able to accomplish this one. Not ready yet. 
usually a really good map. Very in there, right before the Rift Guardian came up. I didn't notice, but there was one of those big, I don't know if they're called sand crawlers or sand dwellers or something, but they're one of the creatures that reflect missiles back. My name is Ash, <coughs> and like Ulrich, I want to wonder if you have a good to see. I'm here to help. And when they do that, one, I think just one of my poison darts kills me if they reflect it back at me. I just saw it right, right before, right before or right after it had killed me. My second life thing he kicked in, but come on! Wow! Done. Two out of five. Right? <coughs> <coughs> I had been getting pretty lucky with my upgrades past few sessions, Your a lot of, is complete. so I guess it's about time that I uh, 
failed a few times. Fortune Luckily, I didn't die. Oh. I almost forgot this about this bonus pool here. See you soon. I cannot afford that. Right, now I'm gonna jump right into a 113 because that's the next one that I need or could use. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. Uh, 113 is a difficulty where really it depends on the map, uh, the maps that I get and the Rift Guardian that I get. So I'll give it a try. Here we go. <clears throat> Embrace your power, and you will survive. These creatures are horrible for me. Needs more time. Sucker by creatures and these Mar Morlu guys are some of the worst for me. Things like that are what really kill me. Not 
Me is it seems like my guys aren't doing hardly any damage to this guy. I target him. Need more time. Need help. Sometimes my guys just can't target things that are on any kind of an incline or anything. No elite anywhere. That was a waste. I don't know, I might not be able to do this. Come on, come up the stairs. Guys can't do anything against enemies on stairs. What a waste of a shrine. I had two wastes of shrines this time.
These maps aren't bad, but they're just not great. I don't remember which way is the dead end. <laughs> Some of those maps this way is a dead end. Some of the maps the other way is a dead end. Gonna have to get really lucky with my next map. Otherwise, that ain't gonna happen. I don't think this is it. No. Can't do it with three or four creatures here and there.
That guy doesn't do a lot of damage, but his defenses seem to be pretty high. And I had a couple of really wasted shrines in there, just like I had a power shrine with absolutely no elites around anywhere, and conduit shrine with your skill has grown. One of the spirits grant me blessing. One of the guys they were like split up down the stairs. My guys have a lot of trouble targeting enemies that are downstairs. And I come back, I'm gonna attempt another 113. I'd like to get at least one more 113 done. And then maybe I'll augment another item. Start augmenting and then and then see if I can get the 114s. Alright, I will be alright to back. <laughs> 